How's everyone doing today? This is Zach Allen. I'm going to share some great tips with you today to help you gain more distance, both through getting more club head speed, but also hitting the ball higher through the air. So the theory that we're going to talk about is called parametric acceleration. And how we use it in golf, if you imagine this, if I can get my left side going more up through the ball, you see my left shoulder here thrusting up as I swing through the hitting area, my left thigh pushing up through the hitting area, and my left arm pulling up through the hitting area. That'll equate to more speed in the other end of this lever. So we see it all the time in these long drivers and long hitters of the golf ball. A lot of you might think that to be weird because one of the things I hear most often on the golf course is to keep your head down or to stay down. So you notice if I do that through the hitting area, none of that acceleration is gonna be happening. So a great model for this, if I just take something and I hang it from my left shoulder here, which is pretty close to the low point of our swing, you'll see right at the bottom, to really get me to throw that, I'm really actually using the bigger muscles in my legs and thighs to push my hips around and up as I go through the hit. So one more time, left shoulder. And you'll notice the thing that's crucial here is the timing of it all. If I jump a little too early, I'm gonna to top the ball, and if I don't do it soon enough, the acceleration is not gonna be timed to be happening right at the golf ball. So with the golf club, you can imagine, it looks and feels the same way. So right through the hitting area there, I allowed that club to accelerate by going this direction with my body. So the next time you're out on the golf course, instead of thinking to stay down, I want you to think of your left side pushing up and see if that doesn't make the club head travel faster through the hit. So here we have parametric acceleration in action here. The best in the world, Tiger Woods. Notice the lines that I have drawn on his belt and just up above the top of his shoulder. Watch the change in the belt line and the rise in the left shoulder as he lengthens out that lead arm and shaft. So not only is this important to get maximum extension through the hit, you notice there how everything is fully released and pulled out from his left shoulder. But also it's important to get the longest possible low point through the golf ball, whether you're hitting your irons or your driver. Notice all that rise in those parts as he comes through. Left shoulder rising up, left leg straightening, body lengthening and getting taller through the hit. And then we have your, your average amateur here struggling sometimes to hit the ball high enough and far enough. You'll notice if we take that same comparison, we draw a line on his belt line at about halfway down, there's going to be very little to no rise of those hips through the shot. Almost a sagging look through the ball. That's why we get the left arm holding on and chicken winging and not a good use of his bigger muscles in his quads and his legs and low back to really extend up through the ball. 